Welcome to Infinity TV. I am your host, Chantel, better known as Miss Recycle, and I am here to recycle the love and recycle the knowledge. So listen, y'all, earlier I was doing a build and we got rudely interrupted, I guess, because of what I was saying. I was talking about the witches and the wizards and how we have the power over them, right? God has given us the authority to cast these demons out right? But you have to know what to say and you have to know what to do. So I'm going to get straight to the point, right? God wants me to let you guys know not to be afraid, all right? Do not be afraid, guys, because God is with you. God is with you. All you have to do is pray and know the words. You have to know what to say, right? So I found some verses, right? There's actually 365 of them. So there's something that you can say one verse each day that will help you um, in your fear. If you are afraid to combat whatever you're going through, and I'm telling you, it's a witch or it's a wizard. If you are afraid of what you're going through, then you need to focus on the word and say these verses and, and ask God for the guidance um, his wisdom, knowledge, protection, and he will grant it to you, believe me. All right, so I found Millie's quick Bible study of do not fear slash be afraid slash be anxious slash worry. So these are verses that will help you to not be afraid, to not fear, to not be anxious, and not to worry. All right, now, um, there are several verses. Genesis, it says, after this, after this, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram, in your shield. I am your shield, your, your very great reward, right? So what God is saying is that he's going to shield him. And in the end, he's going to get a reward for being brave, for protecting his family, for protecting his community, for protecting the tribe. Okay, guys, this is what we have to do. All right. Because we are facing generational curses, which are also known as ancestral curses. Right. That um, do affect us. These things really, really do affect us. And I came across a book called um, The Hammer of Witches. And it's so crazy because, oh, we, I can tell y'all a story, but I ain't even gonna go there, right? What is called The Hammer of Witches. And what it was, it was a book that was um, created by a man, by the, it was a book that was created to guide us, the people, on how to how to kill a witch all right um so one of the things that i want you guys to know is that you cannot be afraid okay you cannot be afraid because thou are with you thy rod and thy staff okay you have to know this and don't say yay do i walk through the valley of death no you are walking through the valley of life right and and you because you're alive you are walking through the valley of life right and you shall fear no evil because thou art with you you have to know this so like i said before we have things called ancestral um ancestral curses And um, ancestral curses, basically, it stems from family member to family member, right? I explained that to you guys, right? So now I want to also let you know, God told me to let you guys know that there are spells being done and cast, roots cast upon you in church, in church. The churches are doing it. Um, the government is doing it, right? They're doing it for control. They're doing it. Um, basically, like the, the church is doing it for your um, congregational support, right? So he needs you there in the church. He also needs your ties. He needs your money. So therefore, they're doing rituals over your money. They're doing rituals over your ties. That envelope that you drop into that box, right, with your name and all that on it, they're doing rituals over that, right? So they're keeping you coming. They're keeping your money coming, right? The government is also doing rituals over you to keep you under control right so their method and ways of controlling you is through things like christmas 
right? Most people don't know that Christmas was called Saturnalia um, in the medieval times, right? And Christmas was nothing but a massacre, a massacre, all right? So we're celebrating a massacre on Christmas, but you and I don't know that. And it's also a ritual because by you participating in this event, right, you have to... Um, dawn the trees with the lights and the stars and things like that and if you read your bible google it read the bible it says that we are not supposed to do these things these are pagan holidays and these pagan holidays are attached to a lot of evil things right so we have to know what we're celebrating we have to know what we're worshiping because if we don't we will get tied into these things and we will become a victim okay so um that was one of the things that i want to let you guys know that it's the government and it's also your churches oh and beware your schools the teachers what do you think what do you think the judges you know the police and things like that you know i'm telling you guys like it's crazy because you know instead of you guys doing witchcraft on your neighbors you need to be doing it on the police do it on the doctors do it on the teachers do it. and i'm not encouraging anyone to do anything don't get me wrong but i'm just saying it was originally created to go against your oppressors right your neighbor is not oppressing you. They don't have the authority. They don't have the power to oppress you. So why would you use witchcraft against your neighbor when you should be using it against the ones who are actually oppressing you? That's what I'm saying. If you're going to use it, use it to benefit the world, not just your selfish self. All right. But I don't agree with witchcraft at all because to me, the power is within. The power is within right so you have to basically tap into your inner power and bring it out that's through god through prayer and things like that you ask god to strengthen you and god will strengthen you and give you the power to do these things you don't need to use candles you don't need to use tarot cards you don't need to do any of that if you have faith in god and you know that what you're doing is right and you know that whatever someone else is doing to you is incorrect someone is trying to harm you then you have a right yes to take it to god and ask god to judge that person and you won't have to lift a finger i'm telling you honey i've been there i've done that but listen, okay, now there's several ways that you can be attacked under witchcraft or through witches and wizards and devil um, <clears throat> strongholds and things like that. Excuse me. Um, another way is through your dreams, right? They have a thing called incubus and succubus, right? So the incubus is the male demon coming in your dreams and having sex with you. The succubus is the female demon coming in your dreams and having sex with you. Now, these things really happen. I can admit it has happened to me. And that's the reason why, y'all, I can get up here and talk to y'all like this and, and tell you these things because I have definitely experienced them, all right? I'm going to tell you, I had made a post about a pastor, right? Pastor Darius Pridgen. I'm not going to withhold any information. Yes, he does do witchcraft. He is a pastor, but he is also a Mason. And most of these pastors are Masons. But anywho, I had made a post a while ago on Facebook about Pastor Darius Pridgen coming into my dreams and trying to sleep with me, have sex with me, right? So, um... You know, I'm just going on and on and on and I'm venting and you know how I go about the certain things that's going down with these churches in Buffalo, right? So somebody, a young lady um, reached out to me and she said, wow, it was very ironic that you said that because the same thing happened to me. And I'm like, wow, you know what I'm saying? But she had sex with him in her dreams, right? I didn't have sex with him in my dreams. In my dreams, because my, my, my man was in the other room and I was in the bed and he was on the couch or something like that. So I guess, I don't know what happened. We fell asleep separately. We must have fell asleep mad at each other or something like that in my dream because we were separated that night. And he came to me in my dream and he was trying to have sex with me. And I told him, don't you know that my man is in the other room? Get out of here, get out of here. And he fled. He fled, right? And it was like, wow, I woke up like, wow. You know, it was just crazy to me. But then when she 
called me and confirmed, she reached out to me and confirmed that the same exact thing had happened to her. And then I had met, excuse me, not even met another, another young lady. I'm not going to say her name because she's a very close friend of mine, but she used to attend the church and she told me the same thing. She ended up having sex with him in her dreams though and when you have sex with them in your dreams right you end up falling in love with them in real life they know this this is about control this is about manipulation that's all it's about because they know that they lay it down on you real good in your dreams you are going to wake up fantasizing about what happened to you in your sleep. And whenever you think of that person or see that person, or you might just start stalking that person or something, because you have now fallen in love with that person because that person has came to you in your sleep and had sex with you. So be very, very, very careful of that. I know a lot of people have had that happen to them and they may have enjoyed it. They may didn't, you know, they didn't understand um, what was going on or why it happened. But I'm telling you right now, there is a thing called spiritual wives and spiritual husbands. And they are your incubus and your succubus, right? And they come to you in your dreams. Now, of course, someone has to um, do something to cause these things to come to you, right? So maybe someone did a ritual over you, right? So that person who did the ritual over you, that male or that female, will come to you in your dreams to have sex with you, to seduce you or whatever, to make you fall in love and basically under their control. <clears throat> So um, that's another thing that I want you guys to be very, very aware of. You have to rebuke that spirit. You have to rebuke it, right? You know, you, a lot of times you wake up with a wet dream and things like that. That's what happened. You have to rebuke it because this is a demon spirit that will stop you from getting married. They're very jealous. They're very jealous. And by me not sleeping with this pastor, <clears throat> it didn't work on me, all right? It only made me angry. It just made me very, very angry. So, yeah, when you notice things like that happening, you have to rebuke it. Um, you pray to God. You wake up out of your sleep. I remember I woke up, I wake up out of my sleep a lot. And about always, it's always about three in the morning, six in the morning, things like that. And those are the witch hours. So when I wake up in my in the middle of the night out of my sleep, I'll pray. I'll pray or I'll go turn on Pastor Darby or I'll turn on something that inspires me. But I pray first. I pray. And I ask God to take those things away, to rebuke that spirit and to protect me and guide me because, you know, I feel it coming. And there was a time I remember where, you know, you know, have you ever got the feeling where you couldn't get up out your sleep? You couldn't wake up. You were woke, but you couldn't talk. You couldn't move. You couldn't. And all I could say in my head was Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And instantly I felt, I felt that entity that energy it was energy i felt that energy go away instantly so that's why i teach my children when you have bad dreams in your dreams you say jesus 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 when you wake up you say jesus jesus you rebuke it I, you have to teach your children what to do when they are combated with this issue because you have to remember like i said it goes from generation to generation four generations over so this is why i'm wondering why are we still inflicted with this slavery thing because the four generations has gone and and came and gone again you know what i'm saying like it's being recycled what's going on um there's a big conspiracy behind that too as well if you tune into dane calloway on youtube he can you know give you a lot of insight as to your history your background um how to tap into your native um, ancestral backgrounds and things like that. Very, very, very wise man. And I, um, really advise you guys to tune into him whenever you get a chance. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that we as people, <clears throat> we don't know about, right? So knowledge is power. So if you don't know about these things, right? A lot of people don't even know about, they don't believe in witchcraft, first of all. They don't believe in it, right? Just like they said, the devil trick tried to trick you by making you believe that he doesn't exist, right? So these witches and wizards are trying to trick you by making you think that they really don't exist. But we are in a day and age where um, <clears throat> things are being exposed, right? So these people, witches and wizards are starting to expose themselves. Like I told you, the gentlemen exposed themselves. It was due to Darby's video, him praying over the television, through the television, excuse me, that caused him to expose himself, but yet and still, he still exposed himself. 
And that's what gave me the insight and the opportunity to say, okay, okay, something is going on. Something is not right. I've been feeling it. People have been telling me. So now you just got to go, you know, do what you got to do, tell. And after that, you know, excuse me, the rest was history. But, um, <clears throat> okay, the government uses witchcraft to control you. Okay, we went through the Saturnalia thingy. Um, <clears throat> the churches. Um, let me see. So, you know, like a lot of these rituals are attached to these holidays, right? That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about, too. So, things like New Year's. Um, Christmas, Easter, you have Thanksgiving, you have Halloween, 4th of July, President's Day, the Passover, all right, the Passover, <clears throat> a lot of these things are rituals, just like communion, communion is actually a ritual, you are drinking the blood of, quote unquote, Jesus, right, eating the body of Jesus, right, but it's a ritual, is a ritual look into um research it research it and you will find seek and ye shall find right seek and ye shall find i can't tell you everything and i can't tell you everywhere to go to get the information the only thing that i'm here to do is enlighten you on what's going on right now in the world because this is a very very we're living in a very drastic time in our life and most people don't know what's going on right they don't know what's going on um I just wanted to basically kind of hop in and talk to you guys a little bit about those topics. Um, like, hit the like button, subscribe, you know, just tune in. Tune in. When I'm on, I want you guys to kind of like, just think. Think about it. Think about what's going on in your life. Think about how... You were living before a certain person came into your life. And then once that person came in, either it was good or it got bad, right? Now, you have to remember that God is not the author of confusion. So if a person comes into your life and all of a sudden you become confused or confusion starts to occur around you, then you might want to reevaluate that situation, okay? We, I mean, we have to start doing applications, on these men and these women, not just the men. I'm not just talking to the ladies. I'm talking to the men too, right? Y'all got to start investigating. A lot of these people be on a pedophile list. I've seen women on a pedophile list before. It happens. It happens. So, you know, you have to protect your children. You have these people around your children and you don't know what type of people they are. You don't know what type of person they are, right? They could be into a whole lot of things, drugs, alcohol, you know, pills, whatever, uh, witchcraft and, you know, gambling and, you know, and influence your children into doing these things just because they're around, just because your children see them doing these things, right? You have to remember that our children learn by sight. It's not do as I say. They do as they see us do, period. We know that. We know that. We learn by sight. We learn by sight. So we have to remember that. Like, ladies, teach your daughters not to be so open with these boys, right? Because we don't know what type of background these boys came from. We don't know what type of parents they have. We don't know what mommy and daddy doing around them. We don't know this. So they can be into witchcraft and tapped in. And do you wonder why your daughters come home acting all crazy over this boy? right that she barely knows letting him touch all on her because he didn't did something to her you know same with the little girls you have to be careful right of letting these little girls all over your boys because they'll come home acting all crazy you know what i'm saying sniffing their own butt because a little girl done did something to them you don't know what they're learning from their parents i'm gonna tell you it's a tribal thing it's a tribal thing right a lot of us don't know what tribes we come from right but a lot of those things were passed down still from generation to generation they were believe me when i tell you this they were passed down from generation to generation and it is up to you right to meddle in these things there's a there there is a great 
great consequence for touching those items. I'm telling you, there is a great con It will backfire on you. It will backfire on you, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So be careful with these things, guys. I'm talking to the witches too. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy because I don't hate you. I don't hate you. You're my brother. You're my sister. You know what I'm saying? I just want to let you know that what you're doing is not correct. You are hurting people who you are supposed to be loving, right? Instead of taking that magic and, and, and hurting and harming them, man, why don't you go say a prayer to God and ask God to get the bitterness out your heart so that you can now mend the relationship with them and carry on with your life like a normal person? Because if you ask, you shall receive. You shall receive. You know, and it's crazy because people just don't know the harm that they're doing with these things. They are really harming people, y'all. And this is why I'm up here talking to y'all about this. Because if I wouldn't have pulled myself, excuse me, if God wouldn't have pulled me out of it, I could not take the credit.